Yes. Lots of those like uh, Spiff uh, Ridley bomber jackets. Dude, I had a few people message me and they're like, "You should get this." And I'm like, "Homie, you don't want to see me in dark purple. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be real. It's not a good look." Yeah, hey, I'd be kind of happy finding that up in the Christmas tree though. Like, yeah, no, for sure. I like the uh, the Bowser bomber. Yeah, that one's fire. The Bowser Oni. Definitely. Spiff's a homie. He's super, super chill. If you ever met him, definitely. Um, maybe I've met him. I've seen the vendors, but they're really, like, they're they're really nice guys. There's a couple guys, but. Cool team. They make the sickest stuff. They make some, the some stuff. And shout out to Hit Point Tournament events to compete. And you, I don't know what UGS stands for. UGS Underground Studios. Underground Studios hosting this tournament, hosting our stream, and making this all happen. And shout out to Joe Fatal, um, hosting these events. 13 Midwest Mayhem's, and this will be the last. It's a. Uh... Pretty grandiose send-off, though, for sure. He really pulled out a lot of yeah, the stops. Definitely. And there's just so much admiration for him in this community. Yeah, uh, I know we're trying to... Nothing's finalized yet, but we're definitely all trying to, like... UGS hit point and, and you are, we're, like, trying to figure out a way to replace... Like, we, we're like, well, <laughs> there's going to be a hole now for he us. Like, we you the torch, yeah, one well, for all. Right, and it's just like, well, what do we do now? So we're trying to figure that out, but we so, want to make sure that Midwest is... Uh, um, I guess we should talk about the game right now. We have J Brock Pony and Crash Gear going up against Slojo and Spencer, the team we saw earlier. Yo, uh, by the way, J Brock not playing Sonic even a little. That is Richter. <laughs> Very different and character. I'm, I mean... I respect it. Like we were talking about earlier, Sonic just doesn't have the tools and dust that he has in singles. And I, I feel like uh, I feel like the uh, it's like almost a waste of his movement. I feel like the Belmonts might be really, really good in dubs too. Definitely. Uh, just closing out space with their projectile game and just like massive coverage. And back to that conversation about awareness, like I don't know. I, there's a lot of there's a lot that your your teammates can get hit by with breakers. So you just have to play smart and carefully too. Right? For sure. And this is definitely losers because we are seeing uh, Slowjo and Spencer again. Uh, and they did lose pretty pretty convincingly to Fatality and T earlier. Definitely. Looking to get that run back and find their way through this losers bracket. And that was a double down smash catch there from uh, from Spencer. Down smash getting air dodged against by J Brock and then he immediately down smashed again yeah, before he could grab ledge. Spencer cleaning house, holding on to his um, stock still. Same with. Uh, same with Slowjo though. He's still hanging on to his stock, and he's he's been doing some good damage too. He's making sure that uh, he's staying frustrating to hit. Which is a big deal. And yeah, I like how J Brock staying like distance length away and just forward tilting. That's all you got to do, especially against Ness. Yeah, it's fast too. It's like surprisingly fast for how far it reaches, and it hits hard. Like Definitely. it's just a good button. Wow, and that was. Did you see Crash Gear forward tilt right on that grab release? And yeah, that was really good. Ness just with the kill buttons, dude. I can't believe PK Thunder popped him up that hard and their hit stun was still like, yeah, I'm gonna back air you like two seconds later. Definitely. Oh, and that's another early stock. Richter being one of those characters who does struggle to make it back to the ledge sometimes. Especially if you're chasing him and um, exploiting him. Yes, yeah, he's he like if he's if he doesn't have tether, he's kinda just boo-boo off stage. Definitely. His upbeat hits kind of hard, but like, it doesn't do much. And his jump ain't that big. You really gotta make use of that air dodge and just lap these recoveries because it's so important to his gameplay. You want that survivability. Yeah, I know Mick uh, on commentary yesterday, he was like, you know what? The Belmont play like a Castlevania game. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> it's like, oh, I got hit. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Dude, and that's the man Sakurai. He keeps these characters so true to their source material. Oh, for sure. But that's like, he has fun getting creative like that. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think there's any character in this game that I'm like, this character sucks. Yeah. I'm like, these characters are dope. Things not looking too good for J-Brog. Um, I notice how they're just trying to convert um, these back throws into, like, Nessa's up there. I was going to say, they're, I think they're also just kind of, oh, I can push him off stage and then he, he'll go away forever. So. He's kind of doing a good job, though. Yeah, he's playing he's it nice and slow. So Good awareness and there. He's, he's staying on the ledge when he has to. He's using get-up attacks when he has to and just abusing that vulnerability he gets. Because get-up attack is so good in this game. And back throw does He lived! <laughs> jabs his... Oh, oh my god, if up air killed... 
Yeah, this game's wild right now. <laughs> that is oh yeah, he's gonna die. Yeah. Arama will open. And I mean, like, it was four stocks to one, but... I mean, you never know, J-Brock might have been collecting data with that last stock and just figuring out a good plan to go into that game, too. Well, sometimes when you mess around too much in 2v1 like that and you do something dumb, it can, like, tilt you later, like, I'm stupid. Yeah. Like, even if you win, you're like, that was dumb, I could have lost. But you never know, I mean, like, tilts opponents sometimes, too, I mean, like... Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, you're like, come on, just let me die, like... I'm gonna be real. When I feel like I'm getting bullied in a two v one, I just run off. Yeah. I'm like, it's like you don't no play point. with your food. Yeah, there's, there's no chew point. your food, swallow. I mean, and when you're in like a professional setting like this, I mean, most people don't. And and it can suck too when your teammates just sitting there watching. You're like, he wants to play again. Like, I'm not realistically bringing this back, yeah. so I'm just gonna cut it. But like, if it's like they each have a stock and one of them's at a high percent, like I'm playing that out every time. Definitely. But and our scenes out here is like pretty respectable. You won't see that too often. No, nah, bully. Be bullies. We need we need to be bullies. Yeah. Oh my god, definitely. Get rude when you play. It's fire. Make people angry. Oh, you said be bullies? I thought you said we gotta beat bullies. No, no, we gotta be bull like you gotta you gotta be a dick when you <laughs> no, play. This no, no. It's all in game. Out of the game, very respectful. We're all friends, we're all homies. <laughs> in the game, I'm gonna make you feel bad. <laughs> and you're gonna wanna get better. Right? Okay, I, I get that. Yeah, I, I I'm I'm a big proponent of Bully them until they beat you, or they, they realize that they don't want to take the game as seriously, and then they find something else to do in the community. It's like you bully them, and then show them, like, warmth, and, like, yeah. teach them how to grow afterwards. I get that, dude. Yeah. No, for sure. You got, it's, it's baptism by fire. <laughs> oh, Sonic came out, it's by the fire, way. fire, in your case. Yeah, um, right? Yeah, so we're getting into this game, too. Um, I like the green team's adaptation, the switches they made. They're, they're able to like sustain themselves on stage and that raw flare blitz almost killing. I don't think uh, he was expecting it to hit above ledge there. Crash Gear uh, put in a pretty bad situation, but an overextension there. Oh, I'm sorry. That was Sluggo uh, against Crash So much fire. It's cool. Yeah. And back there will take it. That was Nair. Oh, it was Nair. Okay. Yeah, just, I like, caught the end of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same kind of angle. Yo, that back oh. air was big. That back air cleaned house, dude. And he actually blocked the rest of that up B with Spring. I don't know if it would have made it back anyways, but uh, it was still really good awareness from J-Brock to throw it out. Yeah, my man J-Brock looking mighty fine. Holding on to this third stock, getting trying to get as much mileage as he can off of it. Ooh, I love, love, love when um, players catch landings with grabs. I think it's so cool. Yeah, especially when it's a nest and he's like, you're going to die now. <laughs> Yeah. Blanks there. Dude, I've been so afraid of Sonic back air ever since watching Ken play last night. Oh, I know. It just slaps you. He makes you homing with... attack look nasty, too. It sits for so long. Yeah. Like, if you're a character with, like, a tall body or something like that, like, the answer to homing attack is block or be not anywhere near him. Well, and they amped up the shield damage it does in this game. Exactly. Like, it will pop your shield, and most people will, like, hold their shield, let it diminish by itself a little bit, and then their shield gets popped. And then if they try to run away, like, you can release it. It has a lot of cool mix-up potential. Or you can just hold it and wait until their shield depletes enough for it to poke. Ooh, and J-Brock getting another gimp with the, um, the springy spring. Ooh, and unfortunate there from, uh, from Slowjo. Throwing out an F-Smash to save Spencer, but he actually only kicks Spencer and, and kind of just beats him. Crash Gear, so much is going on. He's holding the stage by himself a lot while, like, uh, J-Brock gets all the interactions off stage. This switch off of Richter into Sonic is proving to be demonstrably yeah, but, better. And I think, like, some people will counterpick themselves before the match even starts, and then they just realize, like, dude, I need my main. I can't give up on Sonic. Yeah, hold up. Hang on. I'm better with this character. Why, why did I not? Exactly. And, yeah, the PK fire to back throw will take the stock. Ooh, and seeing a parry on homing attack, that's mad sick. Dude. Parrying against Sonic, I feel like, is going to be scary because it, like, totally disrupts the Sonic player's, like, flow of movement because everything freezes in place. So I feel like that's going to be, like, a really interesting mechanic to see applied, especially in Supers. And it's such, like, a tempo-oriented character. Exactly. Like, my, my Sonic friends, they love their tunes the most because they seriously get, like, a rhythm going when they play the character. Oh, that was an interesting choice with the back throw, uh, but it wasn't really enough percent. Definitely. I would have gone for like a forward throw, something a little lighter. Oh my god, he almost converted that from the ledge with up air, and he does it! Yeah, up tilt to up air. It's that a up air looks so combo. cool. Like, the noggin was so good in Smash 4, but look how cool that looks. Yeah. 
And it is this.